rotors, slotted rotors, help reduce heat, I guess, and they look pretty bad ass. You want to loosen up the lug nuts on your wheel. It's either going to be, it's gonna, if it's a F250 diesel, 17 and up, it's gonna be a 21 millimeter socket. And I have my crossbar too. Remove the hubcap, loosen up lug nuts, jack it up. So this truck, you gotta make sure you jack it up from the, the axle right there. You don't wanna put it right here on the arm because you, you're just gonna put like too much stress on it. So just place it under the axle, like the solid part on the tube. And that should lift up the left side, the, the passenger side. And then for the driver's side, you're gonna put it underneath the actual axle itself. Since I have these wheel lights, I gotta remove these first. Um, first thing you wanna do is grab a drill, a drill bit, and you're gonna drill these things out. They're called rivets. And you're just gonna drill them out. Then you're just gonna get it out of the way for now. All right, so first thing you wanna do is remove your caliper. This is your caliper. It has two bolts in the back. Back here has one and then another one down here. Um, it's a, uh, I believe it's like a 16 millimeter. This is a 16. Those are the bolts. And then you're just gonna remove this. You're gonna use like a, a pry bar to get this out of place okay so you gotta remove this bolt it's a 21 millimeter socket this it had two bolts up here one up here and one down here after you do that set it off to the side all right so that bad boy is on there tight so you got to beat it with a hammer just hit the sides you know like this so keep hitting it until it comes loose and i'm gonna beat the crap out of it in a bit so okay so we gotta clean all of this you know try to get all the rust changing out your brake pads they send you these or you get these and this 
pretty much how they go install. Just clip on there. But you want to add a bit of grease at the bottom and at the top where the brake pad sits. It's right there, right here, and right there. And you want to smear it on there and clip it on there. There you go. Just like that. And then you don't want to get it on the freaking road. So here are the brake pads. They're made by Extreme Performance, no, Power Stop Extreme. And you're gonna do the same thing with the grease. You're gonna put grease on top right here in these little brackets. They will be going right here and up here. So. Okay, so you're gonna want to get a seat clamp or go to AutoZone and buy like a special tool for to uh, return the pistons back all the way so that you know it can so what you're gonna do put your seat clamp on there you're gonna want to put a brake pad in here so when you squeeze your seat clamp it pushes them pushes back these two pistons back all the way inside and then when you're getting ready to install the actual caliper on here, you know, it will slide on perfectly. So, with my new handy dandy seat clamp. So update, I messed up, well, 
I called one of my buddies and he says that sometimes on these like models uh, F-250, these pistons tend to seize up and they just, you know, start bleeding and they're pretty much useless. I mean, they're not useless, but you know, I'm putting good rotors. So I went to AutoZone and found the caliper. It's not the stock one, but it'll do. Um, it'll do for now, I guess. Let me show you guys the new caliper. This is the new caliper. 